And the second map is going to be Secret Valley between Sunshine and Spell Sunshine. Still the Night Elf player um, spawning in red on the bottom spawn position of Secret Valley. And again we do not see a um, Altar first by him. So Moonwell probably edge the four next. And a Tavern Hero where a Spell, even though he lost previously, is going to stick with his uh, Altar first and pretty sure with his AM first as well. And um, we're gonna see if he's gonna attempt this game like he did previously with a uh, fast expansion. If if he's going for the fast expansion, he's gonna go for a tier three again, or if he's gonna stay tier two and go for a quicker timing push this time, like I guess many people like to do it uh, with human against the Dark Ranger. Uh, Ancient of War is coming as expected, and. Um, Actually, we're not even sure if Sunshine is going to stick to the Dark Ranger, but I'm assuming he will. I mean, it worked out pretty nicely for him on Tarina's stand on Secret Valley. Well, there are also some creep camps which can be taken, which uh, contain several smaller creeps that spawn uh, skeletons. Also, Spell isn't going to have access to mercenary support on this map, even though he didn't really make um, use of it on TS as well. So scouts are heading across the map. Spells already is going to reach the night death base and he's going to see it's going to be Tavern Hero again. AM first of course for Spell. First Footman is already out. That's a bit of an, a suspicious positioning. I guess this is just against the scout. Yeah, yeah, he's pulling back right now. I was just thinking for a second if you would go for the expansion immediately. But... Uh, you know, probably gonna go for the orange camp first. Detonate. Uh, it's not gonna reach the AM. Barely dodging that one. Archer waiting at the tavern. Second archer is out. Third one in production. And the AM starts creeping with the orange camp here. Yeah. And it is Dark Ranger first again for Sunshine. So circlet for the AM, Tome of Strength for the AM, and almost level 2 for the AM. He can just get it here if he wants to. Uh, let's see, is there going to be a Lumper Mill or anything so far for Spell? He's got three farms for now. He stopped producing peasants after having seven, and he's going into the tech, so he's not going to go for fast expansion at all. Going to creep the level 2 here, and heading across the map with the AM. Dark Nature, not quite at level 2. Um, see, last it goes to the elf here though. Skeleton being killed by the AM. And is he getting defense this time as well? We'll see uh, what his plan is gonna be. Dark Ranger is probably gonna wanna continue creeping for now, especially seeing that Spell is apparently not going for the expansion. I'm assuming he didn't scout that yet. But uh, with the Wisp, he uh, keeps track of the natural expansion of the human and it's gonna be more and more certain with every th second that passes by without spell. Going for the expansion. First footman about to fall. First archer being pulled out um, properly. Second footman also about to fall already. Oh, is it? Yeah, it is. So that's not exactly the start spell wanted for this harassment. But now uh, I heard the first archer di dying. Okay, it was down here. Second archer is in trouble. Third archer low already as well. AM doesn't have dust of appearance yet though and... Sunshine realizes that hiding his archers and that's the cue for this AM to leave. Maybe he can pick up Our the dust um, the on his way to the heal fountain potentially, yeah, is what I would guess. By the way, tech started for Sunshine as well. Of course, Hunter Soul coming for him. Let's just compare the text very quickly. Spell slightly faster. Archer being micro back here. And Sunshine, yeah, suffered a bit from this harassment, lost a couple of archers, but Spell lost a couple of footmen as well, so completely even. Now he's gotta stay away from here with this army because otherwise the archer will just wake up the creeps and get the footmen into trouble. But the AM is also there, so he could just creep here if he wanted to. Let's see if Sunshine is reacting in time. He's barely reacting in time. 
Purge goes on the water metal immediately. Uh, Red Drake starts doing damage to the water metal as well. And he woke up the creeps with the archer. He knows where Spell is. He knows he's probably just gonna creep there right now. So Sunshine is taking the opportunity to get this uh, creep camp in front of the goblin version in the middle. And what did he get here? Circlet for Spell. Or actually hold that thought for a second. I'm assuming he got the circuit at this orange camp and that's still the old secret valley version in which uh, there are no items dropping at the bottom or at the ground creeps of the fountain. And Naga is in place apparently thanks to the uh, short vision of the night Sunshine thought the entire human army was there and abandoned this creep camp so uh, could be kind of a crucial miscall by him if the item order creep went to spell, but it's not gonna happen, we end up mana stealing. Okay, probably not gonna be a game deciding item, but who knows. Um, Naga second, and the first two riflemen out already, going for the panda here, some pretty decent blocking with the footman, now he miss micro though. And uh, Naga with the boots of speed is able to keep up with the panda though, so gonna be able to do more and more damage to that one, he's probably gonna reach the moon in time though. Two laws coming, ancient protector even coming already, so he seems to be very afraid of a rifle caster push during the mid game, which is probably what Spell is gonna attempt to do. AM has reached level 3. Um, did not creep the red drake at the fountain. And with the Dark Ranger and the Panda, Sunshine just gonna continue creeping. Gonna get level 3 Dark Ranger, wants to get level 3 Panda eventually as well, of course. And let's see, first priest, not in production yet. Oh, he's supply block, power building uh, one farm here, building a second one already. Getting the first sorceress out already. And he sold the man of mana scene, so yeah, definitely not going to be a game deciding item. And what is it for the panda? Oh yeah, the sentry ward, so this is the completely oh, old Secret Valley version with um, the other items, so yeah, <laughs> let's just. Uh, keep it as this, Wind of Mana Ceiling for the Panda, as well as Sentry Wards, the AM got the circle somewhere, and the Naga um, got the Boots of Speed passed, and this time he's gonna creep the Red Drake down here, uh, see is another Rifleman joining the army, yeah, three Rifleman right, uh, out right now, fourth one coming, first Sorg out, first Priest in production, you should make sure not to get this uh, reinforcement killed and he makes sure of that, keeps it at the top, chasing the night death back for now, killing another one of the creeps, but Sunshine coming in here with a breath of fire, killing the first rifleman, of course he wants to keep the number of riflemen as low as possible for as long as possible to stop the human from reaching a crucial number of riflemen before he's got his uh, bears out, before he's really getting his tech advantage kicking in, which he's eventually gonna get, yeah he's heading towards tier 3 already. The sorceress is going to be killed without really achieving anything. I think he just denied it one with the rifle and he might have. And Moonstone used by the Dark Ranger right now, as well as a Clarity Potion. I'm gonna head back for now. I guess with only the uh, Dryads and the Archers, Sunshine isn't gonna be able to achieve too much against this uh, AM Naga and Rifleman. Yeah, another Rifleman coming out. No more caster being produced, at least for now. And it looks like Sunshine is once again gonna come in and creep check spell. Looks like he really wants to not give up this Drake to spell. Might be a mistake. I feel like he should just. I mean, he should be satisfied with both of the second heroes reaching level 3. Is there a staff? There is a staff on the Dark Ranger and he's using it. Uh, because the level 3 on his panda is definitely more important. Wow, spell using the priest here. Uh, than the level 3 on the Naga of, of spell. So he should maybe just fall back, creep something on his own, get the panda to level 3. Shop coming just now for spell. 49 supply for him. Uh, 43 for sunshine. Let's just see, tier 3 has finished. One bear in production, no idea if he got adept already, if he got master already. We're gonna find, find out soon enough. Another rifleman joining the army right now and slowly Spell is gonna have to put on the pressure here. 
if he doesn't want to face a well tagged tier 3 night elf army with bears and dryads. So the bear is adept. He's getting the master upgrade just now, as we can see, he just had the lumber to do so. This Ancient of War is gonna buy him a bit of time. Uh, the Edge Protector can buy him a lot of time as well. Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire coming in. Of course, the Panda, as mentioned, isn't anywhere close to level 3. First ride is going down. The bear. Oh, okay, he's not even going for the bear, but Sunshine should definitely make sure to not lose that one before it reaches Master, because it's uh, his most valuable unit at this point, except for the heroes, of course. So now that Riot has fallen, spell pulling back for now, though. Our warriors have engaged engaged the enemy. Bit surprising, in my opinion, because this Rifler Caster army is gonna be, you know, less valuable every second that passes by Dark Ranger. And Panda coming in once again. Dark Arrow not going on this Lloyd P. Rifleman. Dragon Hairs Breath of Fire coming in when mana is being used by the Panda. Still doesn't have the mana to cast anything else. At least for now. One more Footman gone down. One more Rifleman gone down. <coughs> and I'd say this is looking very promising for Sunshine. Majority of Spells Army is low already. Tier 3 done for a long time. He's got the Orb. He's got uh, Master Bears ready. The Bear could be staffed. Maybe he's gonna let... No, okay. He's not letting it go down in order to save the staff for his panda potentially. Fog lightning coming in. The archers gonna be picked off right now as well as one of the dryads. So actually spell these able to pick off the majority of the ranged units of his opponent. Now the panda might run into trouble but it looks like he has given the town portal to him. So oh, he's not using it though. Fog lightning okay. kills the panda. Oh wow. This was looking very safe for sunshine and all of a sudden losing the panda here. Maybe if Spell gets the scroll of regeneration and then really quickly keeps the pressure up, he can still make something happen here. Or is this going to give him even the confidence to go into a late game with uh, one base tier 2 against one base tier 3? He's adding another Rifleman, which is usually not part of a late game army you want to have against late game uh, Night Elf, which kind of tells me that... He probably doesn't want to go into a late game, even though he just killed uh, the level 2 panda. Two scrolls of healing for spell, and he's even going to go ahead and creep the red camp, apparently. Whereas the Dark Ranger is making her way towards level 5. Rather slowly, reach on one of the bears. Let's see what spell is going to get here. Overlord is going down, and... Or is he? It's the crystal ball for spell. Well, certainly not what he hoped for. And Tome of Agility. Well, a bit of attack speed for the Naga, but that's about as bad as it gets in terms of item drops here. Panda is back right now, so, well, spell at least took the time he gained here, crept the red camp in front of his opponent's main base. But in return, Sunshine might get the red camp in front of spell's main base, which is gonna basically you know, make the players even in terms of stealing major creep camps and if he gets anything better than a crystal ball then he's even gonna come out on top of this trade unless he's gonna get creep checked right now. Uh, crystal ball used by spell, not sure where. Ah, up here at the fountain. So he had the wrong sense there apparently. Now knows about the whereabouts of his opponent. Tome of XP was <laughs> Uh, dropped here, apparently already picked up by the Dark Ranger and Crystal Ball for Sunshine as well. So in terms of item drops here, of course a bit better for the Night Elf as he got the XP home, but not like an insane advantage for him thanks to that. I guess the insane advantage is thanks to the tech advantage he's already got. Militia come in there for free. Yeah, why not take the free kill, right? So AM for Naga 3, Dark Ranger for Panda 3, and Pendant of Energy apparently has been uh, found earlier here and passed to the Panda right now. Now Sunshine is using his um, reveal and sees Humanus still tier 2, so nothing to worry about, nothing to uh, be in a hurry about. So he's getting his expansion in place, getting Score of Protection, Score of Healing. And going into the late game with a lot of confidence, I'm assuming. 
spell adding one breaker to his army right now of course always great to have in order to just steal crucial rejuvenations. Uh, in this case didn't get him very far since it was the unit the first unit to die this by going on the water elementals mass militia coming for spells so apparently now he's gonna try and take this fight around this forest corner basically where the bears are at least for a little while blocking each other uh, not getting into these riflemen for now so this is about as good as a, as a position as it gets for a spell uh, yeah as it gets for spell first bear stepped out second bear saved uh, manually third bear is going down but in return he got so many kills looks like a second bear has died there as well but he's got basically all the lumber peasants I think one lumber peasant might have survived for spell and the second one didn't even turn into a militia but still worth it for Sunshine as Spell isn't gonna have militia support in any future fights. Naga soon to reach level 4. AM still out on the map with, without a town portal. I mean Spell has done that for quite a long time already now since he uh, town portal away from here after killing the panda and it looks like he's gonna go ahead and try and cancel this expansion. Let's just see panda still only three and a half, but the Dark Ranger has reached level five in the meantime. So either uh, level three Dark Arrow or level three Silence. Drunken here is Breath of Fire coming and hitting. Okay, uh, he's scroll wise two he scrolls for spell. Okay, that's kind of nice. Scroll protection used right now. The one low HP rifleman being split off the army. Fog lightning coming in from the Naga. Breath of Fire coming in from the Panda. This time hitting even more units. First use were used by spell. Um, Dark Ranger didn't use any silence so far, which is okay. It doesn't uh, she doesn't have any mana? That's the reason why. Another bear being microed out properly here, with uh, you know without staff. Panda doesn't get the rejuvenation in time. Looks like uh, there was no staff on the Dark Ranger. Therefore, Panda has gone down. At least the Dark Ranger is going to get all the experience right now. Another bear is going to be sniped out, apparently, eventually. So that's about as good of a fight for spell as it gets. And actually, yeah, it might backfire on Sunshine right now that earlier on he only got the militia killed, but none of the crucial units to spell. Still at 47 supply, uh, at 50 supply against the 47 of Sunshine. Another bear is going to fall. Let's see, is he going to get the staff, second one on the shop? That's what he's doing, heading out right now with the Dark Ranger. He's going to be able to staff this bear in time. So that's at least something. Panda is uh, well, almost halfway back. Expansion is up though, N not running yet. I guess he's not going to produce wisps there because he expects to lose that expansion right now. So spell. Yeah, thanks to this very good fight up here. For some reason, he didn't, he didn't get new mana on the Dark Ranger before the fight started. Um, able to take this expansion down, Sunshine... Yeah, still has to wait for his panda, has to wait for new bears. Retrination on one of those bears. Another one's gonna spawn here in a second, the Agent of War. Uh, probably gonna fall, I guess he's not gonna try and defend this without his panda. And Dark Ranger level 6, of course, is going to be a huge factor in this game if it comes to that. Still got half a level to go, but... You know, it's not, like, out of the picture at the moment. So yeah, Panda Bag. Um, clarity Potion used right now. I'm guessing he might sell this Crystal Ball eventually because economically it's not looking too great for him, sitting at 51 supply. Okay, using the crystal ball another time, assuming here maybe? Our sacred or is at being the desecrated. red camp, not sure where he used it, or at the main maybe. Boots of speed, <laughs> second time for the Naga. Guess he can give those to the AM if he wants to. Moonstone is on the panda as well. Let's see if he sells the uh, crystal ball right now. Still not selling it. Alright, Dark Ranger getting a new, new town portal. It's four bears, five, six bears for the Night Elf, plus two dryads. On the other hand, spell. He has several riflemen. Again, has the one breaker with his army uh, in order to steal rejuvenation. Nation. 
Sunshine heading uh, towards the bottom. I'm just wondering why he clicked the breaker there. I'm assuming he probably just revealed with like a uh, crystal ball. Making really good use of that one. Always passing it in between the zeros to just get as much information as possible out of it. Spell has sold his crystal ball a long time ago, of course. Now getting two more heal scores, so four heal scores for Spell. 63 supply against 53. That's like as good as it gets for Spell. So expansion is down and he's got the, the uh, supply advantage he wants. He's got the level advantage. He got everything except the tech advantage. So in this case, this very much delayed tier 2 push on one base might still work out for Spell. We're gonna see about that. Bear even cancelled here, spending his resources otherwise somehow. Ah, uh, reinforcement, uh, reinforcing rifleman going the wrong way around there. Get, gonna get picked off. Collapsed. Level 4 panda. But both the laws are gonna fall, so no more reinforcements. But then again, the gold mines are empty right now anyway. So 53 against 63, that's all the players are left with. I mean, Spell can do long distance mining, of course, but not going to greatly boost his income and in this rather narrow choke I think Spell would probably gladly fight uh, now it's letting his opponent get through though cause he's gonna have to kite got plenty of slow available though to do so maybe even should use a heal scroll here in order to save these two priests but the panda was slowed as well didn't get in range of uh, these casters in time. Next priest is under focus. Now the two bears a little bit too far in front. Once again, just after the first units went through this little choke spell, turning around, opening the focus fire. Bear has to be staffed. Still, neither of the players losing any units here in this uh, well end game situation. Drunken haze, breath of fire, silence coming in. Uh, of course. As mentioned, plenty of heal scrolls available for spell though, so he should be able to counter that. First bear is going to be staffed out once again. Five bears remaining. Second bear is probably going to fall right now. And the damage output he get, he's got against those bears is so great. Heal scroll used right now. A uh, little bit of focus fire against the Naga. And she's mispositioned. Can she get into the back of the army in time? It looks like she will. Panda's going to have to be careful. Fork lightning used. Heal portion used. Is the staff ready on the Dark Ranger? Uh, doesn't even need to be, but... He's just killing everything else instead of the panda and therefore spell ties the series here. Actually, I gotta say I'm a bit surprised after how uh, the initial tier 2 phase went for spell. Um, lost, you know, a rifleman here and there. Lost his first caster down at the bottom uh, right fountain. But I guess the major factors were, of course... The panda going down for the first time. I felt like there was tier 3 available for Sunshine. He had the bears. The one thing that didn't go for him was his underlevel panda because he um, kept track of the human army so much with his entire army that he didn't get the panda to level 3, which of course is crucial. Uh, then losing the panda, giving Spell the time to continue creeping, to continue building up his army. Um... Then I guess after losing two bears and in return killing all of the lumber peasants at the fight at the top, um, maybe Sunshine was a little bit overconfident in taking the fight at the top. Maybe he should have uh, let Spell come down to his expansion in a more into a more open area to um, you know get his bears better into play and I think he definitely should have fallen back to his main base for some quick shopping like he went into that fight with not a single silence on his Dark Ranger um, the the panda wasn't able to be saved then in the fight the expansion went down as a result of him losing that fight and you know due to all of these minor to major mistakes by Sunshine even though I thought uh, killing all of the peasants was really worth it initially. Uh, turns out it wasn't and therefore Spell getting the victory here on the second map. And the third map I think is going to be Turtle Rock. And um, I'll see you soon for that.